The Black Lives Matter mural painted in Washington, D.C. is so big, that it can be seen from space. Planet Labs shared a stellar photo Friday on Twitter of the mural that spans two blocks of 16th Street. According to their page, Planet Labs is largest Earth observation satellite network. They share a near-daily global dataset. Each letter measures 35 feet high and take up the width of the two-lane road in the nation's capital. On Friday, Mayor Muriel Bowser commissioned Black Lives Matter to be painted on the street that leads to the White House ahead of a huge planned demonstration this weekend that could see as many as one million people. She also renamed a portion of Lafayette Square as Black Lives Matter Plaza. According to NBC Washington, the painters were part of a crew hired by the city's Department of Public Works. Additionally a section of 16th Street, where protesters were tear-gassed to clear a path for Trump's photo op has been officially renamed Black Lives Matter Plaza. There was a dispute this week about whose street this is, John Falchicchio, Bowser's chief of staff, said in a tweet. Mayor Bowser wanted to make it abundantly clear that this is D.C.'s street and to honor demonstrators who were peacefully protesting on Monday evening. On Saturday, D.C. is set to see its largest protest yet. On Twitter, number 1 million D.C. Saturday was trending, calling for 1 million people to march to protest police brutality against black Americans. The news comes came as Bowser announced that the Utah National Guard, more than 1,200 troops of 10 states, would be evicted from all D.C. hotels on Saturday. The various acts have angered. The incompetent mayor of Washington, D.C., and Mayor Bowser, whose budget is totally out of control and is constantly coming back to us for handouts, is now fighting with the National Guard, who saved her from great embarrassment over the last number of nights, Trump tweeted Friday afternoon. If she doesn't treat these men and women well, then we'll bring in a different group of men and women. In preparation for the protest, the White House has effectively turned itself into a fortress, with seven to nine foot high black fences erected and armed guards and sharpshooters surrounding the perimeter. Critics bashed the move, saying the White House, which has always been referred to as the People's House, was suddenly no longer accessible to the American people. On Tuesday morning, a tall fence was put on the north side of Lafayette Square, along H Street, so no one can enter the park, which is usually open to the public. This is the place where peaceful demonstrators were tear-gassed by police to clear a path for Trump to take photos in front of St. John's Church. Trump didn't say anything, but just stood in front of the partially burned church, later holding up a Bible for the photo op. On 17th Street, which borders the Eisenhower Executive Office buildings, hundreds of feet of wall were erected all the way down and around Constitution Avenue. Trump has frequently referred to himself as a law and order president who wants to portray himself as strong and in control. Supporters of the president see the moves as someone who is quelling protests. But Trump's critics see this tactics as dictatorial and compared the new fencing to the president's pledge to build a wall along the U.S.-Mexico land border. And American taxpayers, not Mexico, will again be sent the bill, said Senator Patrick Leahy, D. Vermont.